So come on, let's go inside of this Suzuki XS. And when you reach inside, here you can see this is the fuel cock. Now why you have to replace this fuel cock? After how many years you should replace this? And is it important to replace this? So let's talk about that first. Hello everyone and welcome back to Rice Fix. So come on, let's see why you will have to change this fuel cock of Suzuki XS. Now the first thing is, you don't have to change the cock if you don't have any problems with your bike. It doesn't matter how old your bike is. If your bike is not giving any problems, then see that you don't touch the fuel cock. Moving on to the second point. And the second point is very important guys. If on your spark plug there is too much carbon buildup, then it is the number one sign that you need to change your fuel cock. Now when you clean the spark plug and you put it back again, and when you try to start the bike with two, three or five kicks, and when you take out the spark plug again and you see a carbon buildup on your spark plug, then it's a number one sign that you'll have to change your fuel cock. Moving on to the second point, and the second point is, if you are done cleaning your carburetor, done changing your air filter, done changing your oil, done connecting all the vacuum pipes properly and still your bike is acting funny, it is racing in between and then suddenly it is stalling and then you have to kick many times to start it. If you are facing these problems, then immediately take out the spark plug and check if there is carbon buildup on the spark plug. On that, you can be sure that you'll have to change the fuel cock. So now you know why you have to change the fuel cock. So moving on to the third point and the third point is guys thousands of people are watching my videos but none of y'all are subscribing so i think you don't like my face that's why you don't subscribe so that's why i shaved today so that i can look good and that you guys can subscribe to my channel guys when you subscribe you support me and when you support me i can bring you more advanced videos more repair videos that will really help you guys out all you have to do is just subscribe to my channel and it is completely free guys so if you wish to support me then see that you subscribe to my channel and guys let me also remind you that i have a facebook group as well so if you are having a problem then take a video clip of that problem and post it in that group you will find a link of the group in the description below because once i see the video i know what the problem is because many guys comment that my bike is not starting now there can be various reasons why your bike is not starting so if i see the video i can figure out the problem properly and i can help you better but still even on video i might not be able to solve the problem but i can try my best so in this video i'm thinking of doing a giveaway if i get thousand likes on this video so come on start liking this video guys share it now what you have to do to participate in the giveaway that i have told later in this video so see that you watch the entire video and participate in the giveaway so without any further ado Let's get the video started. So to replace this you will need a 10 mm spanner. So take a 10 mm spanner and loosen this bolt. Once you loosen it, you can easily take it out with your hands. Now inside my fuel tank there is very less petrol. If in your fuel tank there is too much petrol, then see that you take it out and empty it. Or you can take out this cock and immediately replace it with a new one, which I will do now. So here I have disconnected the airline and now I will disconnect my petrol line. And this is my new cock. So this cock I will keep nearby so that I can immediately replace it. Now I will disconnect the petrol out pipe. First we'll have to slide the metal ring lock down once you move it behind you will have to pull the pipe so here i have disconnected my petrol out pipe now there is only one pipe left to be disconnected and that pipe comes from the fuel tank and connects here so slide the metal ring lock now you are not supposed to leave the pipe even when you disconnect the cock you will have to hold it in your hands and you will have to act very fast here now if this pipe is not coming out then take a screwdriver and loosen it like this like how i am doing here once you loosen it and when you pull the pipe the cock will be easily disconnected from the pipe now keep the pipe pressed so that the petrol will not flow out and immediately connect the new cock so here i have replaced the old cock with a new fuel cock you have seen how easy it is you can easily do this at home now put this metal ring lock back in position now rotate this fuel cock and put it in the right direction so as you can see it is now come in the right position now the bolt which you had taken out from this that bolt you will have to put back now so with one hand hold the cock and with one hand you can tighten the bolt so here i am done putting back my bolt see that you tighten it properly and once you tighten it properly now now you will have to connect both the pipes which you had left the petrol out pipe and the vacuum pipe both this pipe you will have to connect now and the metal ring which you had slided down you will have to put that back in position and with this you are done replacing the fuel cock now let's check if the old cock is proper or is it damaged if this is not damaged then i will do a giveaway of this so without wasting any time let's open this up to open this you will have to take out all these four screws once you take out these four screws the top cap will come out easily like this now open this carefully because inside this there is a spring as you can see here 
this is the spring now keep this on one side and this is your fuel diaphragm this diaphragm you will have to check properly now if there is any hole in it even if there is a tiny hole in this then this part is spoiled but as i can see that there is absolutely no hole in here this part is absolutely all right the price of this part in the market is 450 rupees so here my part looks okay so i will do a giveaway of this part only if this video gets thousand likes so come on guys start to like this video and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel then see that you subscribe to this channel and comment below why you need this part and when you comment you take part in this giveaway i will only give this part to that person whose comment is very good when you win this giveaway your shipping address i will take on a private email address so don't share your contact details in the comments below so now i will close this so first thing you'll have to put the spring in position so when you are putting this top cap back see that you make sure that both the out pipes are facing in one direction like this and then put the screws back and tighten them in cross direction so once you tighten this if you had taken out the petrol from the fuel tank now it's time to put it back and with this you are done with today's repair so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then see that you subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos and i will see you guys in my next video